Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. Today we'll be doing the unboxing of the refreshed Galaxy Fold. Now this one right over here, I did purchase from an AT&T location. Underneath the application of my AT&T, it will show you different locations of where you're able to pick it up in store, but you're probably gonna see that every location will have probably anywhere between two and three, maybe four different devices. Best Buy might have five, but they're in fewer locations, meaning you can only get the Galaxy Fold, the refreshed at AT&T, Best Buy, and Samsung.com. So, uh, it's kind of like a film screen. That's the only thing I'm afraid of when it comes to this phone. So internally, it has 512 of internal storage. I also purchased this one as silver. Uh, so let's just kind of get this one unboxed and opened up. So right off the bat with the glare, you will be able to see that distinctive crease down the middle. Okay, so let's go for the very first fold of this phone. And so right here, I can see definitively that there is you know, a point where when you go to fold it in, it kind of goes in right away, sitting kind of like this, a little bit of an angle. Uh, and then from here, you can actually feel some pushback. So this right here kind of feels like butterfly wings, which is kind of funny and ironic that that's what they use, um, is that when you're pushing it in, it actually comes right on back. So if you try to push it shut from right here, it's not going to go in. And then once you go all the way in, you can see that it does do the snap. So that was the first fold that I've done. So what I'm trying to explain here is that there is a couple different type of folds that you feel. First off, you feel the very first initial fold right there, uh, and then it just kind of sits. And then right here, you get the pushback that even though you're trying to push it slowly in, it actually pushes right on back. And then you're gonna have the distinctive kind of clamshell shut at the very end. So really you wanna be careful with this main screen here. It's not gonna be the hard glass we're used to. It's not corning. It's gonna be pretty much a film, uh, but they did put in those little T-joints on the top and the bottom to kind of stop any of the debris to go into the phone. So let's go through and try to turn this one on. Uh, my guess is that, and what I've heard from other YouTubers, uh, is that this crease will kind of go away, you know, checking out that little crease when the screen is actually turned on. So maybe it won't be as uh, distinctive of a crease. So really quick, I'm just gonna show you everything that is around this phone. You'll have a speaker grill on the top. You also have your speaker grill on the bottom. You're gonna have your type C charger on the bottom as well. And then on the sides, this is pretty much where everything is. But when it is opened up, uh, the left-hand side, this is where you're able to put in your SIM card. So this will not have the fingerprint scanner on the screen. It's actually built inside the side. Uh, very similar to the Galaxy Tab S5e, as well as the Galaxy S10. E. Then you'll have your power button along with the volume rocker. So let's set this aside really fast. Let's just look at what the rest is inside of here. So unfold the future, meet your Galaxy Fold. Welcome to the entirely new era that will change the way you interact and communicate and experience life every day. Galaxy Fold reimagines the smartphone screen and employs tissue thin layers of new materials to produce never before seen screen flexibility. Precise, refined, slender, encased in luxuriousness, uh, or <laughs> encased in luxuriously finished materials, Galaxy Fold lets you fully immerse yourself to whatever you need, wherever you are in the palm of your hand, meet your Galaxy Fold. Now reading this one, the first thing that pops in my mind is, you know, how practical is this phone? Am I able to feel comfortable going to the gym with this? Can I go on vacation with this? Or am I gonna go off and actually bring my Galaxy Note 10 Plus? Uh, this might be my main phone, to be completely honest, when I go to the gym and everything else, but I will take this through the normal practical uses just so I can let you guys know what my real thoughts on um, with the Galaxy Fold. So it looks like you have some premier service, the Fold Concierge screen replacement offer, and you can find out more down over there. Let's still check out the inside. So inside of this little box right here, um, you will be finding, let's see, let's go Samsung AT&T, AT&T Fold. Uh, so this is also gonna be your SIM ejection tool. Uh, and so for me, I already have one that's actually sitting right over here. So I won't be using this one, but it does come with a small little case. So it's this one uh, kinda, it looks like it could be Kevlar, but it's actually not. Um, very, very thin, very flimsy type of something, but at least it gives protection to the back of the phone uh, so you're not going to hurt the back of the device. Now let's go inside of here for the rest of everything else. Uh, looks like we have our 
uh, power adapter here for the power brick. This one is the adaptive fast charging. And so it's not gonna be that, you know, super fast charging 2.0. It does come with the adapter, the dongle that you can plug into the bottom for USB uh, A. And then you also does, it comes in box with the Galaxy Buds. So, you know, you are spending a lot of money on the Galaxy Fold, but you are getting a case with it, I guess, um, as well as these buds right here, which I believe, how much do these go for? I believe these are usually like 140, 150. Uh, and so you are able to get inside the box the Galaxy Buds because there is no, um, you know, uh, headphone jack on the inside of this box, which no headphone jack on this phone that was supposed to be released about four or five months ago. Let us everybody know that they were basically going to get rid of it. So, yes, this one is only still the regular adaptive fast charging because it is USB type A over into USB type C. When you have type C to type C, that's what's giving you your faster charge. And then the rest of everything else inside of here, um, it looks like these are going to be additional buds and pieces and edges and rings that you're able to use uh, with your galaxy buds so that concludes what was on the inside of the box now let's actually turn this on and let's get this one going but also um just for fun let's also throw on these pieces uh and let's see what is this for so it looks like those are probably just like small little adhesives that actually goes, you know, and attaches itself to the phone so it can hold just a little bit better. So there we go. It's almost kind of like a little skin, uh, almost as if this one was sponsored by dbrand, but it's not, uh, let's see, not a sponsor. And I do like how on the back of this, it does have the little name right there of Fold. So that's really cool that you're able to, I mean, even though everybody's gonna already know what this phone is, uh, but it is pretty nice to actually place that little emblem on the bottom. Now I have to say the SIM card tray is, completely different than the Galaxy S10 and the Note 10 Plus. This one's actually quite a bit more difficult to actually even put in and put into the phone, to be completely honest. And I know this is the exact same SIM tray that's also used uh, in the brand new iPhone 11. So let's go through, connect to some internet, and you can see here that the keyboard is going to be split keyboard. Uh, well, you know, one for the left, one for the right. So some of you might like this, might not. I know that you can go through the settings and change the layout of the keyboard as well, but I'm gonna try this one out and give it a shot. All right, so here's the point that I really wanted to look at. So we're on a white screen, and as long as you can get just the right angle, uh, you are able to see the crease in the middle right there. So I'm just gonna see if it is gonna be something that bothers me in the future when I look directly at the phone uh, just from my own perspective here I don't see the crease so here is what we're really looking for when setting up this phone so we can check out the unique features so start small go big continue using apps on the main screen when you open up your phone here is that before you get started uh, information that was already on one of those slips inside of here so this says the Galaxy Fold includes a special protective layer on the main screen avoid pressing hard on the screen tap lightly to keep safe your Galaxy Fold isn't water or dust resistant. Don't allow any liquids or foreign objects to enter it. Uh, don't attach anything to the main screen, such as a screen protector. And keep your Galaxy Fold away from credit cards, medical devices, and other objects that can be affected by magnets. So let's kind of go through. Here is the butterfly wings. And so right here with that crease, you can see where it just kind of likes to just kind of sit. Uh, and then here is that butterfly effect uh, that I was talking about from before. So you can see here, um, I'm trying to push it shut, but then when I release it, it does open right back up. It does it all the way to actually almost all the way. Uh, and actually the screen is, is still turned on as I am closing it. And it finally snaps at the very last, just small little point. So it's open right now and snaps. So that is where uh, this one is sitting so let's unlock the device so there is going to be a couple things that i'll change instantly so usually what i do is i press and hold on the screen i go to the screen settings uh, for the swipe down for notification panel so we're going to do that one rotate to landscape mode this is one of those things where the home screen will rotate to landscape mode uh, so if i'm watching let's say youtube and i'm in this frame right here uh, then this way right when i go um, right on back home um, then you're going to see that it's also rotated right there. So I can see also over here, that's pretty nice. It's not, you know, located across the bottom of the phone for recents home and back. You're going to keep everything right over here, uh, right next to your right hand. And obviously you're probably going to be able to change uh, where all of that goes as well. Uh, the other things that we should probably change is let's go through uh, the settings here and I'm going to change the display uh, screen mode. Let's go to vivid. And then we can go on back 
Um, for the screen timeout, I usually put it for right around two minutes. Uh, the navigation bar, so you can do the full screen gestures if you want it to be a full screen gestures, and then your navigation buttons are gonna be on the right hand side. Uh, you can position it either center, uh, you can also position it left, and you can also go to the right. So this is where it was originally set up right over here. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. This actually feels pretty good, pretty natural. Uh, let's scroll down up over here. Now we're gonna move over into night mode just so we can have it um, just go a little bit darker. This looks, so how about now we head over into um, and send a text message. So I don't have everything all set up just yet with this one. And I'm just gonna see how it feels. Is it pretty natural? So let's just go through here. I'm gonna say Jimmy is promo. So, I mean, it does feel pretty good when you actually go through. Uh, you do have um, right over here, your space bar or the space bar. So either with your left or your right, you're able to put in your, um, your space bar. Let's see here, you know, killing it this weekend uh, where it is going to be spaced out. And so this one's going to be just a little bit closer. So uh, let's just go right on back. I'm going to go, you know, killing it this weekend. High contrast. Here's the mode. So this is where you can do your standard keyboard. And so let's go on back over. Um, so this is what the standard keyboard is going to look like when you go this way and then also this way. So you will be putting your, your thumbs kind of, you know, closer to the middle of the device uh, when it's actually split it does feel just a little bit better. Now let's also kind of get this thing shut. Let's check out the front of the screen on what this one looks like. So it's gonna be a pretty small screen on the very front. Let's get this one unlocked. So holding the phone in one hand, it does feel pretty good. It feels hefty. There is a little bit of a weight with this one. Uh, the front of the glass, I don't feel that I'm too afraid to you know, scratch this one at all. Uh, you have three different um, uh, icons that's on the front, which you can easily change those. Swiping up goes your application, swiping down pulls down the notifications panel which is, you know, again, what we did set up. So if we go right back inside, uh, let's go back over into text messaging. So with this one, where is messages? So we head over into messages. Uh, let's not do that one. So you can see that this was where I was typing from before. And so now this kind of feels like an old Nokia device when you're kind of typing, but it just happens to have uh, a touch screen. And so I typed in Jimmy Jimmy right there. Uh, we open it right back up. Here we go. Um, and then you're able to finish off and, and, and put in your sentences. So this is pretty much it for the unboxing. I really just wanted to check out what it felt like, what it looked like. I wanted to see the crease. Now, again, you have to actually kind of make it angled to show the crease. Again, this is not pointing at me at all. When I actually do look at it, I don't see the crease. And so we're gonna kind of see again for future videos, uh, what this thing feels like. Is it practical? Do I feel comfortable taking this over to the gym? Would I take this with me when I go on vacation or am I gonna go over you know, with a solid device right here of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. We'll play with the, 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 the battery life, the charging and everything else. But again, I hope you guys have liked this video, really just kind of a quick unboxing, playing with a couple things, seeing how it works and really also checking out this little uh, uh, fold as well too. So it's going to really not shut until you manually, physically push it all the way. Other than that, it's just going to kind of fly away and flutter its wings like a butterfly. But other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here, the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.